Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a quick demonstration using the Oasa Airbrush Compressor. I've literally just unpacked it and put it all together. I haven't even switched it on or done anything with it yet. So this is my first impressions. I have watched a few airbrushing videos. So basically this is just to get it started and let's just have a go on a practice tip and see how we go. Um, if I do have a better play with it later on, and I'll see what I can come up with. I will put some photos on my Instagram. And if you want to see how I've got to that stage, then I'll read with my video. But basically, this is just, I've literally just, like I said, unpacked it. I've put it all together. And this is what you get. I think this was about £60 thereabouts. And this is the big long wire you get for the air compressor. Like I said, I haven't put nothing in it. I haven't put... Like done anything at all, so I'm just checking to see like how things go on and go off. So, like I said, that's the first time I've took that off. So yeah, let's get cracked into it. So it was easy enough to put together. Basically, you put these in the side, and that's so you can either have your holder that way or your holder that way. And like so, this just screws on to it for your your handle. It does come with some. Oh god, I'll put it down the top of my sticky side and it's literally stuck down. So now I've got there we are. Right, so I'll just move this out of my way. Right, yeah, this is the book that it came with. I've, I've literally just ripped it there. But yeah, it's got all different instructions and in how to use it. So basically this is just a first go. And you put your power in it and then your power button, if you turn it around, it is on the bottom. And then you've got your light. I do still have it plugged in. You can use it plugged in or not. You can use gel polish in this. And you can use acrylic paint. Now, you can buy special airbrush acrylic paint, which is like a milky consistency. But I don't have any of that. You can use normal acrylic paint. And I've got some of these ones lying about. So I thought I'll try those. And I've also got like all of these ones. There's loads of different ones here that I've got in there, which I can try. And I've got some that are in tubs, like the paint tubs with the screw lids. I've also got some of the one stroke paints that's in bottles like this. But I imagine that would be like quite thick because obviously one stroke and it's really pigmented, but it'd have to be watered down. So you can use these but you have to water them down and obviously use water your gel polish you can put gel polish in and if you think you need to dilute that a bit you use a little bit of acetone to dilute it now like i said i've not used it i know you've got to clean it in between using colors but basically i think you can just keep blowing it out now if i i'm just checking on the instructions as i'm doing this so you need to bear with me now, I know if you want air to come out, you've got to push that, that button there down. And if you want paint to come out, you've got to push it back. So, that's down. And that's back. So, yeah. So, I think um, we'll just get cracking. I think that one there is for how much pressure... And you've got low, middle and high. So I think what I'm going to do first is get some kitchen roll before we do an L. So we need to see the consistency of how much this is coming out. And I put like this big sheeting down just because I already had the spare. And just a bit white kitchen roll thing like. You know, the whatever you call it, that roll, yeah, that. So, before I do any designs, now I have got a bottle of water nearby. I do want, now, you know, the acetone bottles, and it's got a nozzle where you can twist and so you can like literally pour in rather than a spray. I have ordered some of AliExpress, I think I do know the name for them, they're, in, they're down on my phone somewhere, um, but off the top of my head, I can't tell you what they are. But I've been looking all over, like, they're like, you know, like the glue bottles. Oh, if I can find one. I 
thought I'd show you what I mean. Like these type of bottles. I'm wanting two of them. I want one for my acetone in case I need to uh, dilute it with acetone and I want one for water. I couldn't get one anywhere so I've had to order some on AliExpress. So basically I'm making do with what I've got here. You know what I mean? I'm all about budgeting. If I don't have to go out and buy anything, I won't. But I do need some of them bottles. So, yeah, right. Ooh, it's exciting but frightening at the same time. So, right. I don't know what to start with first. Um, I think I might use a lighter colour. See if I've got a white. So, I'm just going to use some of these tube paints. Because I think if I use the darker colours, it's going to be harder to clean out. So basically, I'm just going to put the power on first. Oh. Oh, I don't know what I'm there. Right, give me two minutes. Right. <laughs> you heard that mm, noise and I didn't know what it was. Right, so basically, I was like, oh God, what have I done, what have I done? But, listen. Like, I've just checked, checked the instructions and it didn't tell me and I'm thinking, oh, have I broke it? But literally, I pushed that and it worked. So I know that changes. Can you see? So if I push it and I push the button, it goes to the middle. And if I push it again, it goes to high. So, so that's just air. Yeah, and it goes off when you're not using it. Oh, I thought I'd broken before I even started using it there. Right, so, oh, I've jumped out my skin. Right, yeah, so, obviously, pushing back. See, it's awkward with my nails, and so I have to do it like that. Ah, so you push it down just for air, but you push it down and pull it back, the paint. And I'm doing that, and I can feel it through different pressures. Right, so let's have a play see what we can do <clears throat> now i'm not going to dial out this just yet i'm going to put it in really i should have had some black card and i haven't got any and i'm just looking around to see if there's anything i can use off the top of my head and there isn't so i know what i'll use right just give me a second to go piece of colour card out my drawer i've got some of these so We'll do a bit on a card and see. My table is just such a mess at the minute. We'll use a blue one. All right, let's have a go at this. So, right, so we'll put a little bit of paint in it. And, like, and I know you only need like a tiny bit, so... I'm hoping the watch me paint probably my paint probably won't come out. Oh god. Yeah, these it's definitely gonna to have to be watered down because that's quite thick. So you look at that. That's too thick. So I'm gonna put in and I think it's one to two ratio by the instructions. So I'm just gonna get a bottle and I'm just gonna put I move that card so I don't get it wet. I'm just gonna pop a couple of pumps. This is a brand new bottle. I want to go all brush and I'm going to give it a stare. I hope this works. Right, give her a wipe. So, probably a bit more. I know it's supposed to be like a milky consistency. Also got like milk. I think it's a good thing to have, but I think it's going to be a nightmare changing like your colours in this because you have to like wash them out. So I'm just going to use the white, and let's see. So like I said, if I push it down, that just gives you your air. You can see nothing's happening. So if I. See, that's too watery, I think. I 
looks. Yeah, that's too watery. Right? I'm going to just change it to high and see what happens. Can you see it on my hand? So, I should have put a glove on. I am going to be putting a glove on when I use it. So, we know we need that to be thicker. So, just bear with me, folks. Let's have a play about. See, it's all trial and error. Right. I'll put more in there than I probably should, but because I'm only playing with it. At least once I figure out the ratios, I'll be fine. So, so that's just the spray. I should have put my pink glove on. That's what I'm going to do. I can't remember where I put them. I'll probably put them in the bin. Right, let's have a look. So don't forget, this is my first go at using this. Right. Gonna put back onto law. I think that's just the air coming out. Right, two seconds. Now I'm not getting anything. No, right, I see why. I think I'm going to invest in some, um, the pens. Maybe I'm not putting enough in. I would probably only do this if I'm going to do a lower white. I really don't want it too wet. So I'm going to try these paints and I think I will try my, um, my nail art paints. My proper nail art paints. So I've got my, my one stroke ones. I'm getting it all over the top. I will clean it all when I'm done. See, I'm not getting anything now. I'm just getting air. Right, I'm just going to have a play with it for two minutes and see if I can get it coming through. Hey guys, honest to God, right, I've literally been about three hours trying to sort things out. Right, um, I tried paint and it's way, way, way too thick. You can't mix it in the, in this bit because I've tried and it clogs it up and I've cleaned it out twice. Um, you probably notice my hands are caked in ink so I don't need to put a glove on. Um, I've, so basically, if you're going to mix up your own acrylic paint, you need to get a little bottle and you need to stick a marble in it and put your acrylic paint in it and apparently um oh cleanser what you call it like wipe off solution not acetone the other one i just can't think of it at the top of my head like i said i've been here for hours trying to figure this out apparently stick down a bottle give it a good shake and that thins it and it mixes it and you can pour that in i don't have any bottles 
I'm not faffing about with pens. Like I said, I've been faffing about for the last two hours using pens and I've, I've run out of amount of times I've cleaned it out. You can use gel polish, but I looked on Facebook and someone says they don't advise you some gel polish. Well, it's took me all day just to go as far as I have. So I had an idea and I thought, right, see, this is what I've done using the paints. I've done a layer of gel polish, which was just this one. Put my top, matte top coat on because you need something for it to cling to. And yeah, that, that was for using some paint. And I got as far as very white, cleaned it out. As far as very pink, cleaned it out. And like, it was a nightmare. So, I mean, I was even mixing it in the depth condition part, but it was just too thick. So, scrap that idea. Like I said, if you're going to use your own paint, you need to shake it in a bottle. Right. Now, I thought, right, you need something pigmented and you need something thin. So I thought, well, what about inks? Now, I made these inks ages ago. The bottles were just old nail polish bottles that I cleaned out using um, acetone nail polish remover. I use a stick to cut up the round swabs and stuck all that in. Like, that's how I, I made me on. And basically, I just filled it up with some... And I use surgical spirit because it's the same thing. I filled it with surgical spirit. I dropped... I got the pliers, pulled the end of the Sharpie off, and I dropped it in. And then the inside of the Sharpie, the spongy bit, I literally stuck it in the lid and squeezed it. I mean, it's such a messy job, but it does work. And I made loads ages ago. I mean, loads and loads. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I've got 14 that I made ages ago. So I thought, right, it's thin. It's pigmented. And I want to see if that's going to work. So I've done, I mean, it is messy still, but you're going to have to clean out every time you use it anyway. I mean, you can see where it's like bubbled up inside at the top. I'll take the lid off and I'll show you, like you can see. You do have to clean this out anyway every time you want a different colour. And that's the only pain in the bump about airbrushing. So, but I thought, right, I'm going to do, oh, I'm going to do a couple of nails at the same time so I don't have to keep cleaning out. I would advise you to wear a glove when you're doing this. It's not a screw lid neither, it just pops on. So, this is going to need a good clean by, like, when I finish with it. I've had to pull it apart and clean it and, oh, you've got to be careful because the needle, it's just an headache. So, if you are thinking about doing airbrush, take that into consideration. You've got to clean it after every use. I mean, if you're putting paint in it, you can put some nail varnish remover or acetone through it and keep spraying it till it's clear and then put your next colour in. So... Basically, I've only used that colour and I thought, right, I'm not going to do one nail and keep cleaning out, so I'm going to do a handful of nails. So all I've done, I thought I'll start filming now. Basically, I've done a white one. And it's like a, a light blue. I have put my top coat over the top and I've only done one layer of gel because, like I say, it's just for messing about. So I'm not going to say I'm going to guarantee on doing all of these nails right now, but I thought... Yeah, so, oh, I mean, it's what, it's half past three in the afternoon, and I think I started all this about 12 o'clock. Bear in mind, like, I have had a very dinner, so I'm going to move these ones out of the way because I don't want to spray them accidentally. And, basically, you need a bit of card, so... No, I'm, I'm just making sure, because I have been sat here for a while sorting things out. So it's probably going to need some more ink in it. You can see it does work. If you move this on the top, you can have it so less comes out on mark. So it just means you can't push the needle as far back. So that will go down and then you just turn it to get until it starts coming out for what you want. There, can you see? So, and like I say, you can just build it up. So, alcohol inks do work, but like I said, you're going to have to keep messing around, clearing them out. But you do anyway when it's paint, so like I'm not bothered. So, I'm going to do it on this blue colour one. So, do it on your card first, just so you get your floor. And I'm just going to do it with the bottom. I hope I'm in shot here. I think I need to put some more. Like I 
with her. This was just a practice run. I'm just going to check the lid because I think I need more in it. Right, and all I did, you can either do that or you can pour it in. So that's all I'm going to pour in. But honest, this is so much like easier. I know one hand's going to get kicked in there. Um, oh, colour. But this is so much easier than using the paints. I will buy some airbrush paints eventually. But right now I'm just using... See, I've just turned the nozzle at the back to bring it out a bit like more. And I am waiting for some stencils to come. I'm going to do a darker at the bottom. And don't forget, if you push it down, it just gives out air so you can dry it. So that's me just drying it. So it's good if you want to do like ombre on nails and things. So I'm going to do that one. And there was something else I saying. Now I want to do a full cover on a nail. So I think I'll use this white one. Right. I want to get my scissors wherever I can find them. Like my table is just such a mess. So I want to get my scissors and I'm going to cut some netting. I'm going to plan out some designs of what I'm going to do. But basically this is just to show you like what you can do with it so when i get some stencils it's going to be even better so and now i have got two clips and i've moved my clips there they are right i'm hoping this is big enough so i'm just gonna put that around there like that in fact i might be able to do it just by holding it and i'm going to try it again so don't forget, get a piece of card, something where you can see your colour. No, I'm not going to do all of it. In fact, yeah, well, why not? Right, I've got the, I've got my machine on high. But you can just imagine all the different designs you can do using this. Right, I just had to pause it a sec there. Yep, so, oh, and I've just knocked that. So I'm just going to put that down. Put my lid back on. There'll probably be up there the kids in the background. Right, so I'm just going to pop that into the holder. And I'm going to take that off. There we are. I'm hoping you can see that. So look at the colour of my hands. So I would advise you to wear gloves. But yeah, there's loads of different things you can do. So I've just showed you that one for now. Right, and I'm going to do, see, I want to put the base colour on, just so it's more pigmented. Right, see if we can use another colour, because there's something else I want to use as well. I'm just getting me things out the drawer to see what I can use. I have got some stencils here. And... Alright. 
Etsy. I've just got these, and these are just out of a nail art kit. I've got these ones. I think these are from Just Draw Nail Addict. So if you go and check her out on Instagram and YouTube, she'll tell you where she got them from. I'm just going to show another design. Right. I think I'll do the some of the nail in this one colour. I'm only using this colour because it's already in the machine. So I'm just going to do a little bit there. Because you're using like alcohol inks, it's drying really, really quick. So I'm just going to do that one. Put that one there. Take it out right. This is where you're going to find there's the messy part. I'm just going to get some. Put that there a sec and get some kitchen roll. I've got wipes on my table. I've got kitchen roll. You name it, I've got it just to try and clean out of it so if you want that colour out basically open it up so look at that look. so I could have had like more pigment out on that that so you can do it as hard or as low as you want so I'm just going to keep doing this till it's empty and I think while I'm doing it I want to put some more on this one I mean, look at that, because I've, all I've done is I've turned the nozzle at the back so more comes out. I mean, look at that. Write your name. This is what you have to do when you want to change your colour. So maybe not pour as much in. I'm going to pour that out like that, see if any comes out. No. So I think if you're going to use these, it might be worthwhile opening that a bit more so more comes out. Right, I'm going to get some kitchen roll and I'm just going to give it a wipe inside. Let's try and get as much out as I can. My hands are going to be stained. I mean, you do need a glove on. I would definitely recommend putting a glove on. Right, and I'm going to put... Now, you can put acetone in, cleanser in. It does say acetone when you're using paint, because obviously paint is thicker. So this is why I want a nozzle, a bottle with a nozzle, so I'm not wasting loads, and I'm not having to unscrew it with my hands. So, and obviously this is, and this is, I'm just cleaning it out. When it goes clear, I mean, like you say, this is the first time I've used this. So I need to have a play with it a bit more just to find out like what the ratios and things are. So I'm leaving the lid off so you can see in the top as it's coming out. It is a nifty little gadget, but once, like I said, you do need to have a play with it and find out what works for you. But I'm going to be using links in mine because, see look, there's no more colour coming out and it's cleaned inside. That doesn't matter around there. You can even use a wet, a wet wipe. These are just some disinfectant wipes I've got. And I'll use a bit more of that just to make sure. And you're finding, because it's thinner, it's not clogging up your needle because that was just an absolute nightmare. Right, I'm going to see if I've got like an orangey colour. In fact, no, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use this blue colour. And I'm only going to put a little bit in and see how much. I've gave it a shake. Like I said, these were just made. These were just made with Sharpies. I'm just going to put that much in. I'm 
I'm just doing it so I can see the well at the bottom filled. I've just put that in for now and see how it goes. I'm going to pop the lid on and then give it a Ooh. I'm going to turn the nozzle down a bit at the back just so I can get it the slacker the nozzle the more that will come through right so which one was I doing? I can't remember Mm, yeah, we'll do this one. Right, so. Oh, I should have really done it on there. Right, I'm going to change that one because, see, look, where it's come out a bit too fast there. Yeah, so this needs to go. I'm going to turn the pressure down. It's medium, and that's low. Right. Turn it that way, it's a bit more weight in it. See, there wasn't enough, so I'm just going to pour it in like I did with the last one. Just going to pour a little bit in. It is noisy, believe me. So, I'm going to pour it on a high back one, and turn it, Put some air out and dry it. Okay, I'm just gonna empty it again. Put it on full. And there's not much in there, so I'm just going to give it a clean with this. Get where I can. And then I'm going to put my next colour in. So I'm going to put in, I think this is like a greeny colour. But what I'm going to do is, no, I don't know if this is going to work because I've seen, I seen it earlier. So I'm just going to pop some colour in. Oh, probably put too much in there. And use something to protect your table. Like I have. So I'm just going to... Yep, that's fine. So I'm just going to pop it in the stand a sec because I'm wanting to try something out. So just bear with me. Right, I've got these. So you can use striping tape if you want to use striping tape. I'm just going to pull this out of here. If I can go into it because of my nails. In fact. Yeah, I will. I'll do this on this one. I've probably needed some tweezers. I'm hoping I can go away with not needing any. Right. I bet you I'm going to need some. Right, I am. Find me tweezers, guys. Two seconds.
and like I said I have ordered some stencils so when I, those come I will show you some more I'm going to have a play with this during the week and I'm going to see what I can do with it because there must be all sorts right I'm just going to put that on and I'm going to try and hold it down because they're not very sticky these and they're probably being better off with some tape so I'm going to try and hold it down wearing my gloves if it'll let me oh no that one's moving all right oh dear me let's have a look these aren't very good come on stick 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 that one's disappeared right now these aren't very very good at all that one's sticking but by the time i get this one on it's going to pop on how it is right so right i'm just gonna if, you, if i'm out of shot i'm really sorry i'm just trying to get this stuck down Right, I know it's not straight, I know they're both not straight, but this is just to give you a gist. Let some air out. I'm going to tighten that up a little bit because I think it's coming out a little bit too fast. And that one's lifting so I'm just gonna go for it guys right let them air out just dry it right I know these aren't perfect but it's just to give you some idea on different things you can do I like that one so if I've done different colors underneath that would have worked out even better so I'm going to do this was the one that messed up wasn't it so I don't suppose it matters I'm looking for my netting that I used somewhere here right and I'm just going to put some netting on it I'm just going to hold it in and I'm just going to spray it again. Basically, I'm just trying to use some of this paint off. I should have dried it, look. Give it a quick dry. And you can do all sorts. Like I say, I'm limited at the minute. Because, can you say, it has worked. But that one's not brilliant. And I'm going to try, see if I've got them little stencils lying about that I've just had all done. Alright, let's we'll see if we can stick. I think these would be better just for a bit of nail art because if I try and stick one on you're going to get that line but we'll have a go we've got nothing to lose so like I say I'm just trying to use up I'm just trying to use up what I've got and I've just totally totally bent that one back Can I salvage it? Right, let's have a go. So this is why I want the full the full ones because you're gonna get that line. But sorry if you were gonna put like do that there then something else. 
further down or some gems or something on. on if this oh no nah, look that's a fail so i don't need to wait for my new stencils to come i just thought i'm gonna grab what i've got and see if i can do anything with what i've got so guys this seems to have worked the best there you go so i would advise you i mean you could still probably do something with that i would advise you if you haven't got no pain the proper paint you need for this I would advise you to maybe try some inks I am going to have another play and I'm going to say like you say you can tell it's noisy I am going to have another play another day because it's getting on now and I've been on this for far too long today trying to figure it out but yeah, those are my hints and tips. This isn't going to need a massive clean out now because like I say, it's not paint. This is just acetone, but I'm sure you can use cleanser if you don't want to waste acetone. Choose whichever one's cheapest for you. So I'm just going to do this until it runs clear. But you can see it, it can be quite monotonous. So be prepared if you do want to go and get an air gun. There is pros. There, look, that's clean now. If I hold the end. Yeah, you can see it. So I need to give that a clean round there and give the lid a clean. But yeah, guys, that's just giving you a gist of what you can do. This is my first time using it today. So obviously, some things were a fail and some things weren't. I need to get some more stickers and things and then I'll show you again. So thanks for watching. Bye.